Who's that? It's me. It's me, Dad. Nemo. Your son. Of course, son. Where were you? At the shop, Dad. I always work at the shop after school. You know, a boy your age should get out more. You can leave me alone, you know. I, I, I can manage. It's no problem, Dad. I like being at home. There was a card from your mother in the post. You haven't looked at it. I know. I'll read it later. Won't you go and see her one day? I haven't seen her in seven years. If she ever wanted to see me, she'd know where to find me. No. I've got everything I need, Dad. Everything's fine. How do you know my name? We go to the same school. You never notice me. You never notice anyone. Do you have a girlfriend? Well, are you queer? Why don't you have a girlfriend? I don't know. I don't want one. Tell me about yourself. You used to wear your pants. One thinks you're a weirdo. You're always alone. Talk. Go say something. Gravity on Mars is 0.38. That's three times less than on Earth. The ground is covered with an iron oxide dust.
You're incredible. Raise your hand and say, I swear. Why? Promise me that if I die, you'll spread my ashes on Mars. It's estimated that travel to Mars would take six to eight months. Say, I swear. I swear. We were neighbors when we were little. It's Elise. Don't you remember? Elise. I had a feeling I'd seen you from somewhere. Yeah, that's called deja vu. <laughs> Apparently, the signal from the eyes goes to the memory. No. That's not it. In another life, then? Anyway, I remembered you. You might shouldn't. You don't know me, and I'm not a good person. Why do you say that? Elise, wait! I'll call you! You don't have my phone number! What happens when we fall in love? As a result of certain stimuli, the hypothalamus releases a powerful discharge of endorphins. But why exactly that woman or that man? Is there a release of odorless pheromones that correspond to a complementary genetic signal? Or is it physical features that we recognize? A mother's eyes. A smell that stimulates a happy memory. Is love part of a plan? A vast war plan between two modes of reproduction? Bacteria and viruses are asexual organisms. With each cell division, each multiplication, they mutate and perfect themselves much more quickly than we do. Against this, we respond with the most fearsome weapon, sex. Two individuals, by mixing their genes, shuffle the cards and create an individual who resists viruses better, the more dissimilar he or she is. Now, are we unknowing participants in a war between two modes of reproduction? <laughs>